Hey guys, so for, today, for today's video, I wanted to explain you a little bit more uh, the concept that I'm using for the uh, POP3 uh, S traffic, okay? So as, as you know, I've, I've explained everything uh, last, on the last video, but now I'm going to explain it more in a more technical way by showing you the configuration of the UTM and the uh, NAS system. Okay, so as you remember, you have the POP3 and the uh, implicit uh, encrypted version. Okay, so you are obliged to talk SSL or TLS with the 995. And we also have the IMAP traffic and IMAP S traffic. I might talk a little bit ab about it, but there is actually not nothing much to, to, to say. Okay, so as you remember, I have my NAS here. That is going to uh, that is going to give the order to the UTM here that it would like to uh, download the emails from this email address to this uh, server in uh, the 995 encrypted port. Okay, so the UTM is going to take this encrypted traffic, decrypt it. It's going to look for the uh, authentication data, so username and password, and then it is going to play it to the OVH uh, server here on the 995 port. Okay, so it has to decrypt, the, the UTM has to decrypt the information, otherwise it cannot see the data and it cannot go and, um, and do a lot of things with the emails that are coming from, I'm going to show you that, okay? So of course the part of the UTM need, needing to decrypt the traffic is not a, a manda mandatory thing. It's just because I'm going to have some security features with the UTM and I need to decrypt the traffic for it to work. Okay, so let's see now to the configuration. Unfortunately, this is in French. I'm sorry for that. So uh, you've got to go uh, to the mail plus the web mail. So it's the mail plus package. You have to go to the settings, then to extraction pop three, and then you can add an email address to, uh, rec to, to download the emails with the pop three protocol. So you put the email address and the personalized pop three server. If it's not a recognized system, like, you know, um, mail system like Yahoo, uh, Gmail, Microsoft and everything. So you enter your pop three server, your port, your username and password, of course, and then that you are going to force the use of SSL TLS, okay? And then this is quite important, is this setting is going to um, allow the NAS to give the uh, OVH server to order it to delete the emails when they are downloaded. So this is important because otherwise your emails will stay at OVH or at your email provider and you don't want that. You want to have full control of the emails so it has to stay on your premises. So you are going to delete them after you receive them. Okay, so this is very easy. Now there's only one thing for the POP3 extraction tab to be uh, shown. You first need to uh, go to the, to the same uh, mail plus webmail but with your administrator account and then you go again to all those settings and there is a tick box check box to say that you allow users to use pop3 extraction and the uh, you know the period you want it to run so you know every five minutes or every 10 minutes for example so this is how it works and is it to give all the orders now how does it work for the um, utm okay as i said I want to have some benefits with my UTM, so some security features, so I will need to decrypt the traffic. Okay, so now as you can see, we have an email protection tab, POP3, and then you have a, a POP3 settings, which is going to, um, to say that my UTM is going to, um, uh, how do you say, to intercept the traffic or use the POP3 proxy, if you want, for the, um, the devices with those IP addresses that are, uh, you know, that they want, that want to go and fetch the mails. Okay, so this you have to put the allowed networks. Now for the advanced security function, I want to use the malware scanning with both antivirus in the system 
and I want to quarantine everything that can't be scanned or is encrypted and up to 50 megs. And you can have some blocked file extensions if you want. If I don't decrypt the traffic, I cannot use the security feature. Now in the anti-spam, it's the same thing. There is a spam filter inside which can quarantine if it thinks it's spam or if it's confirmed spam. And you can also put some regular expressions and some blacklisted address if you want. Okay. Also, this needs to be the traffic needs to be decrypted. Now the exceptions, I don't have any. And for the advanced tabs here, this is where we're going to put for which address, the which destination server you want the system to um, to fetch the mail from. Okay. So this is very important because what it actually does is that when the um, uh, when the uh, the NAS is going to say I want to download the emails, I if I'm not mistaken, it's going to take the uh, authentication data and then re replay them on the OVH server, and it's going to download them on his behalf on the behalf of the NAS. I'm going to use the prefetch mode, which means that every here, every 60 seconds is going to download the emails. And in between, if I ask to delete a mail, it is going on the next prefetch. It's going to delete the mail from OVH. And I want to delete quarantine mail for, from servers. Okay. So if it's fine, it finds that there is a virus or a spam, it's going to download it and it's going to stay in the UTM until you take action to release it, to report it as false, false positive to have a, a, how do you say, some kind of a, you know, text editor read, so you can read the email from the security system. And the last thing is the TLS encrypted, encrypted POP3 traffic. So this is the certificate that is going to be presented to the NAS, um, to the NAS, and it is going to, um, to be able to decrypt the traffic. Okay, so uh, this is for the POP3S um, traffic. Uh, uh, there is actually not much to say about the IMAP. So the IMAP and IMAP S, uh, this is my device, my lap, my laptop, uh, my phone, my tablet, which is going to go through the UTM here to the NAS to synchronize the email. The only thing to remember on the NAS is to use only IMAP S and not the standard IMAP. So this you can configure in the uh, in the package of the uh, mail plus server. I, I showed you this on the last video. And it's the same thing anyway for the, uh, from the internet side, it just go, you know, just go through the router, the UTM and DNAS. There is some NAT, um, I guess, everywhere because it's quite difficult to put this in place. So there are some NAT everywhere. And uh, I think that's it. It's just that the UTM here um, has no proxy function for the IMAP, so there are no security functions, functionalities, or benefits. It uh, it's just a basic, you know, firewall for this traffic, unfortunately. Okay, so I think this is the only thing I wanted to say for those two protocols, and I guess that next time it might be about uh, SMTPS. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.